It's Hannah. It's Trevor. And it's Disney, Disney Pinsomniac. And we are here today with another unboxing of some Ooh. lounge fly pins. Now, these pins have been out a, a pretty long time, I would say. Really? Um, they hmm. came out and then they went away. At the time, I had not seen Lilo and Stitch. And these are Stitch pins. I had... The only memory I had of Lilo and Stitch, I'm sure I saw it one time when I was a child, because my mom always says, it's such a weird movie, so I imagine she watched it with me and that's why she thinks it's weird. But um, the only memory I have of Stitch in any capacity for my childhood is when we went to Disneyland at one point and the weird Stitch ride was there. <laughs> and if you know what I'm talking about, it wasn't a traumatic experience or anything, but it was a memorable experience. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I remember the alien stitch. Anyways, so after we watched Lilo and Stitch, I actually was like, oh my gosh, Stitch is really stinking cute. So we thought we'd open these Stitch pins. Okay, so these are our decades of Stitch. Now, um, we did get these with box lunch money. So they were um, originally $8.90 per piece, but we got them for a little cheaper using, um, uh, if you're wondering why we always open four, it's because four pins with box lunch money is a good deal. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, so over here we have 50s stitch, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Now, I think these are pretty cute. But Trevor, which ones do you like are you hoping for? I had no idea that's what they were. Decades of Stitch? Yeah. I want all of them. The one that I want the most... So in the movie, he's like Elvis Stitch at one point, you know? So I think... I think I want the 50s Stitch the most because of that. He doesn't wear this outfit, but like... Or the uh, or the seventies one. The 70s yeah. one is kinda like Elvis too. I mean I feel like that's more the era that that, that like Elvis is referenced. Go ahead and you start us off. Okay. I think I'm gonna get Stitch. First. That's probably true. You're gonna guess it? You're gonna guess, guess it. Guess it right? from behind. Yeah, you're gonna guess it right. Oh, I think that that is 90s Stitch. 90s Stitch. Ciao. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's kind of cool. He's rocking like some um, reggaeton kind of vibes here. It's pretty dope. Let's see. I like it. I like 90s oh, Stitch. Oh, it's cute. I like his shirt. Let's get a closer look. Oh, look how cute he is. This is a nice pin. It's pretty glossy. It's like a decent size. It's not huge. But it definitely feels like a nice pin. Um, and there he is with his little backwards hat and his, his uh, 90s vibes. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. I ordered a shirt like that on the bootleg site that like... Tell us what is your worst experience being scammed on the internet? I think yeah. we all have one. One time I bought what I thought was a lab-grown diamond for 90 bucks and it was like <laughs> supposed to be one carat. Anyways, it was not. Trevor, more recently, so it's much more embarrassing because it's a recent and he hasn't yeah, learned his lesson. Like a year ago. He bought how many? How much money? I spent like, it was like $50, $60, but it was, it was like, I should have known, it was like on four shirts. So I mean, <laughs> and one of them was just like the one Stitch is wearing. And when they showed up, they were like, so I ordered them in my size, but they showed up like, like, I ordered like a medium and they showed up as like an extra, extra small, but it said medium, but they were like, they, I couldn't even fit them on my body. They're probably body. children sizes. Yeah, they were like, well, they did, they didn't say they were children though. All of it was in Chinese. All of the writing was in Chinese and like you could see through them. Like if you held them up to light, you could like <laughs> didn't see Didn't they smell the too? Yeah, they smelled like chemicals and yeah, it was, it was bad. And so I, I like asked for a refund and they were like, well, they wanted me to send them back. And so like, we'll give you half a refund and you don't have to send it back. And I'm like, fine. I'm sure this is how y'all make all your money. And people are just given <laughs> getting half refunds. But that now the company doesn't exist anymore. So <laughs> who won in the end, right? Not you. I, I can tell. I can, I can say this much. Trevor was I don't know. I don't know who won, but it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, tell us what's your best experience getting scammed on the internet. We all have them. It's fine. Okay, now it's my turn. Oh, it's a different one. It is. I think this one is... The 80s? 2000s. 
bam, bam, but a bam, bam. I had a, a sweatshirt just like that. <laughs> Did you ever have glasses, like the shutter glasses like that? Of course, I at least once in my life have worn them, but I don't think I ever personally Yeah, I've definitely pair. worn, I remember wearing like an American flag one that was like... That was so yeah. 2000s. I, I think in middle school I, I borrowed think, someone's. Yeah, I don't think I ever had my own really, but I remember Back when them. I was a scene kid, I... I'll have Trevor insert a pick. I'm sure that I rocked a pair of these in middle school with like borrowed a friends. You know what I mean? They're not very practical, but no, they're not. But I think I remember a lime green pair that I might have borrowed of a friends at one point. Anyways, there is 2000 stitch. I like his little feet are so cute. Now these were also this jacket, sorry, ADD much. Um, this jacket, is like looks like one of those like denim denim jacket sweatshirts you know oh. what i mean so that's why i think i had one like that now we did get these online and so i'm pretty i didn't want to jinx it or anything but i'm pretty happy that we have two unique ones because if you've watched any of our videos recently that we've opened from online it does not go well usually so i'm pretty excited that we have at least two unique pins yeah, that feels like a victory a good start. that's a good start for sure <laughs> all right Three of four. This is my last one. Yeah, that's why I, I always make you go first. Fast, I know. I, I like know to finish off. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh. You know I jinxed it. You know I did it. It's the 2000s one with the glasses. You didn't even guess. You just ripped it. It was thing. the wrong side. I, um. thought it was on, I thought it was on the wrong side. Well. Sorry about that. That's okay. Sorry to be a letdown for you all. Last pin of the video. Come on, baby. Give me something new. I'm sleepy. Oh, it is new. Oh, oh, this is... Ooh. Oh, I love this one. This is 80 Stitch. Aww. Oh, that one's so cute. cute. Oh, no, is it damaged? Scratch? Uh-oh. Oh no, it's totally damaged. Dang, Loungefly, come on now. Usually it's not a problem. Well, it looks a little bit better when you cleaned it off a little bit, but we've had really pretty good luck with our Loungefly pins yeah, in our mystery really, boxes. Really awesome. So we've been pretty lucky, but this is kind of a bummer, I will say. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Oh, I mean, that is a cute pin, but you can see the scratching on that when I kind of move it a little bit and if you look real closely let's see if i can get it zoomed in more he's missing a chunk of his enamel on his eye like right here um and these are all scratches in the um paint here and yeah just not great quality control is what i would say which is a bummer because this is by far my favorite of the stitches I know, it's too bad that that is the one that's all I don't even out. know if I would feel good about trading it, so... Yeah, probably not. Anyways, oh well. So we were able to get three unique pins out of four, which is, you know, pretty decent, actually. Um, I'll have Trevor show the... You still looking at the damage? Yeah, well, I was just going to say that it's definitely the only one that is. All the other ones are yeah. really good. So. This is one of our first times opening a lounge fly, though, and having that happen, a lounge fly pin. So here are all of our pins together. They're all pretty similar in size. This one feels a little bit bigger because of his ears, but it's also, I think, probably my least favorite. Yeah. We did not get my favorites in the set. No. But, but which one's your favorite, Trevor? The 80s one is my favorite. Well, no, the 90s one is my favorite. Yeah, that's good. I like the um, I like the 80s. It would be my definitely be my absolute favorite if it wasn't so damaged. I do um, like the style of it a lot. It's I like the style. I like his ears being like down. I with the headband, it's cute. I like it. Um, I would have really have liked to have gotten the '50s, '60s, or '70s, which are the three we didn't get. So <laughs> that's the gamble you play with mystery pins. I will say it's really, really awesome that we didn't get four of the same one ordering online because mm -hmm. we have a habit of that. So yeah, let us know which one's your favorite and. When were you scammed on the internet? Let us know. <laughs> We'd love to see your comments. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.